First, I start by planning when I'll be able to harvest my berries, taking into account the time it takes for them to blossom. Then, I proceed to plant and water them again before I go to sleep or before the 12 hour mark. On the next morning, I just wake up and harvest them. Hello, my name is The Close Box and I'll let you know how I prepare to farm my Lepa berries on all my 6 characters. I have a spreadsheet to manage and check the money I have on each alt and how many Lepas they hold. Before starting, I make sure that I have all the required seeds to make a batch of Lepas to plant in Millstertal Town, which are 72 slots. So I'm planning to plant 72 Rouse, Cherry, Pecha and Lepa berries in total. For this, I'll need a total of 216 plain spicy, 144 plain sweet and plain bitter seeds, 72 very spicy, very sweet and very bitter seeds. I'm showing you the amount of seeds you'll need if you're planning on planting on Abundant Shrine 2. You'll need 468 plain spicy, 312 plain sweet and plain bitter, 156 of very spicy, very sweet and very bitter seeds. After making sure you have the seeds, I proceed to plant berries. You may be asking, why do you water them when planting if you can wait 6 hours before they start drying and water them again before they blossom? My answer is, it takes at most no time between planting seeds and watering them with a the hotkey and gives you a leeway of 12 hours to water them again. This is essential because as we know, life is unexpected and if anything comes up and you can water them in 6 hours, they will wither and die. How do I manage the base berries? First, I see at what time I want my berries to blossom. On my case, usually around 9am since that's when I take a rest after my work's daily stand-up meeting. I calculate that I need to plant around 5pm to have them ripe at that time. I proceed to go on my alls and plant plus water them. This takes me around 2 minutes per character for a total of 12 minutes. Then, I can log off and wait until 8pm before sleeping to water them again. At 9am, I can proceed to log in to harvest them and wait until the afternoon to begin the process anew with the next berry. How do I plant Lepa berries? With Lepas, the time of planting changes since Lepa is a 20 hour berry. I will look to plant them 4 hours before I will the other ones, in this case around 1pm. The water time remains the same around 11 p.m. at most, then I proceed to log in to harvest them at 9 a.m. How much time does it take? On average, the time it takes in total for every batch of lepers is around 5 minutes. It takes me around 2 minutes to plant and water them, 1 minute to water them at night, and 2 minutes to harvest them. This gives me a total of 20 minutes in total per batch per character for a total of 2 hours per batch in all my 6 characters. So what's the profit per hour in this case? In total, I make around 6 lepas per plot, so per character that's around 432 lepas. Each harvest tool costs 350 packaging, and in average, the base berries return around 330 berries per harvest. So we spend around 346,500 packaging on them. I usually sell the lepas tags on my team for 78k, but 80k to the public at time of recording, which is July 10, 2023. Per average lepa batch, I make around 344,728 packaging from just selling them. That's barely enough to cover for the harvest tool, but where you make the most profit is selling the extra seeds you receive before starting the new batch. All of those is pure profit for you. For the profit, just save the required seeds for the next batch and sell the extra ones. I'll show on the screen the average per harvest. So after saving the seeds required for the next batch and selling the extra ones, we can see the profit per hour at the moment of recording seems to be around 500,000 per hour of work split between 4 days. Combine this with your daily gym reruns and you'll make a good amount of money really fast, but be careful of burning yourself out. And that's pretty much it, this is how I take care of my berries between all my characters. Hopefully this information was useful to you, thank you for watching, hit like and subscribe if you like and hope to see more guides about this game. Leave a comment for any suggestions of future content I shall make. The close box out.